think it was cold yesterday? Well, today it's going to be frigid for another several hours. That's the reality for a lot of people working in our community who have to be outside. Our own Cassidy Lance live this morning from Savannah's south side. She's taking a look at some jobs that keep workers out in the cold. Cassidy, what's going on? That's right, Renee. Good morning. Yeah, you're right. That is the reality for a lot of people during this cold weather. They still have to sit outside just because the temperatures are freezing doesn't mean their uh, work duties are freezing as well. Now, uh, we spoke to a lot of the workers um, who do have to work outside. We talked to them yesterday, and surprisingly, all of them were so optimistic. And they were just saying they're trying to make the best out of this situation. It's just another day at work for Coyce Avery and his team with Grassroots Landscape Management. It's not too bad really once you get moving around. But there is a slight difference working on this day compared with, say, the day before. Try about 20 degrees. There are all kinds of jobs that keep people out in the elements. The crew here at WJCL certainly knows what that's like. Our photographer was certainly feeling the chill Thursday morning. Charles, what do you think of this weather this morning? Brutal. And as the foreman of his team, Avery makes sure to look out for his crew. I at least make sure they all have jackets and gloves and everything. It'll be real quick in your ears and fingertips and everything, especially the ends. This type of cold can even take a toll on their equipment. It's the cold air making it not work, really. You know, it's, uh, it's real hard starting them and everything. Folks working outside in this freezing weather aren't just working to keep things nice, they're also working to keep your families safe. Like school crossing guards, Carol Worley and Henry Walker say this is their first time working in weather this cold. As long as you're layered, you can make it, you know, but it's still cold. Fingertips yeah. and feet. Mm -hmm. What about and you? The sun helps. Mm -hmm. the sun oh, yes. Helps, yeah. <laughs> they say another big help, teamwork. Just rotate one another, one goes in, warms up. And, and a lot of good conversation and friendship certainly doesn't hurt either. One from Carol, I'd be lost. Yeah, we make a good team. Yeah, it? the cop, I'm the bad cop. <laughs> there you go. That's what we're dubbed. <laughs> no matter what the job, everyone agrees there's one key factor in keeping warm while working outside. Not to stop, not to be lazy, keep moving. <laughs> and we keep moving too. And at the end of the day, we all know it's not as bad as it could be. I'm just thankful. So it could be a lot worse. Yes. They're right. It could be a lot worse here in Savannah and in the southeast, but still, nonetheless, it is cold. And for the southerners, we're not used to it. So we're trying to do everything we can to stay warm. Now, I did ask everybody also if they'd prefer the cold or the heat of the summer. And believe it or not, everybody said they would prefer the cold overwhelmingly compared with those hot summer months. But like I said, at the end of the day, everybody's making the best out of it and just glad that we're not feeling what some in the north or the Midwest are feeling. For now, from Southside Savannah, I'm Cassidy Lance, WJCL News, working for you.